Page 33. And to follow me in order. Are <laughs> uh, trying to get Zoe on? Well, I just texted Dave. will be back again in a moment. Yeah, she said she's not taking the answer to the mission. Just keep saying join him. I'm not sure if this is her on the phone. Oh, she said she's not taking the answer to But it doesn't mean it has to be a long time. It's just because it says that. Okay, Ruby, would you set it up so that we can see the people with their video off? Do you know how to do that? Yes. And there's seven people on. <laughs> Yeah. It's, yeah. 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 Sure. So yeah. Yeah. There we go. Thank you. So she's connecting the audio, but. Okay. That's Zoe, can you hear us? Zoe, can you hear us? What's Rosie saying? Rosie says she can hear us. Okay. She's on the phone. She's on the online. phone and online. Okay. Thank you. It's going to be a long meeting. Is, I mean, I haven't noticed in the past, but is this going to be a sad meeting? That I, is there always this amount of tissues around? I didn't know. They... I didn't have anything to do with tissues. Okay, I was just curious whether it was going to be a sad meeting or not, just because there's all the tissues. So it's uh, a legitimate question, isn't it? Michelle responded; she can hear fine. Okay. Good. Uh, looks like Zoe went away again. Okay. Um, Michelle, she's going to be having some technological issues. Could be technical issues. Could be that too. Right. Could be electronics. <clears throat> That's right. I guess it will be a late meeting. Of Are you sad? Hmm? Are you sad? No, she no, not at all. I, just, I never problems. noticed we had so many boxes of tissues here. I'm okay. So she's going to try to get a different device to connect. Okay. What do you want to do, Mr. Chair? Take on. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Are there any additions to the agenda? Are we recording? Yes. Okay. I mean, there I heard the. There is. I heard the thing. Okay. Yeah. There is an addition. That's <laughs> from Recreation Board for use of East Boston Recreation Field. Uh, the simply thing is removed. Okay. So there's a reduction for removal of yeah. the addition as well. Yeah. So yeah. I was going to remove from the agenda. Fill the select board in on the Sibley fire thing from years ago. That's okay. Um, review of minutes, March 4th. Aha. Uh -huh. There you go. This is the Yeah. I'm reading the town forum minutes. Yeah. That's not the ones we we're discussing. I did? Okay, I didn't get my yeah. copy. Oh, we said March 4th. March 4th, yep. Oh, we are. Forum and the town uh, select board meeting. They're right, they're on the same, same page. Or, oh, yeah, I have a piece of paper. Yeah, I got an extra copy. Are we going to argue the whole time? Or what? I'll make a motion to accept I've the minutes. I've one at home, so. I will make a motion to amend the minutes. Well, just, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> it's, not, it's not fair to come, please. You don't have to make a motion to amend the minutes, do you? Uh, I, I will second a motion to accept the minutes as amended. That's good. And here is here's the amendment. Uh, it's trivial, but uh, in the town forum, Article 15 is uh, fine, but then there shouldn't be a bullet underneath it. That's a continuation of that line. So it's just a little typesetting thing. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't accept that. <laughs> Otherwise, they look great. Okay. For all, any more comment on the minutes? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes appear to have it, they do have it. Okay. Uh, public comment. You public? Nope. Nope. Okay. 
Trigger next agenda. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Um, now Zoe's Andy on. wanted. What's that? Zoe's on. Zoe's on. Can you hear us, Zoe? Yeah. And we can hear you. Super. Now Andy was going to zoom in. I sent him an email that said it was be 640. We're pretty close. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if he got it. So. So Town Garage Project Owner's Representative, consideration of contract with V-I-S-C-C LLC. You gentlemen? Yes. Am I stretching it by calling you gentlemen? Yes. You okay with that? Okay. I'm okay with it. Okay. <laughs> so do you want to come up or are you comfortable from talking from there? Uh, whatever you want us to do. Stand much, much comes to, come on up. Yeah, go sit so everybody can see you. Yeah. Get on stage. There's, there's, three, or, there's three or 400 people on <laughs> online right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can sit See, down. Oh. Chairs right there. You don't have to sit on the floor. Yeah. Take a load off your feet. Okay, so we have a contract from you. Yep. Let's see the contract. Okay. And which one of you gentlemen are going to be the owner's rep, or are you both? I'm Mark Blanchard. I will probably do the lion's share of the work, and this is Dave Armstrong. Uh, he works for us. He would be my backup in the event that, okay. you know, the second person in yep. command. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what do you have for questions or? Do I don't have uh, any questions for you, I don't think. I mean, I think you guys are in the early stages of a town garage and uh, yep. it looks like a nice project. Uh, you've contracted with an architect, I believe. Yep, they're doing and, a sketch, uh, sketch plan. And you're looking for someone to kind of guide you through the process. Represent yep. us. Yep. And, yep. and protect us. And protect us. Financially, quality wise, mm -hmm. bodyguard wise. Issues that come up. Bodyguard wise. Scott <laughs> wants three bodyguards. So mostly in the beginning is just a sketch plan. Yep. That's what they're doing. And then we don't know how much further it's gonna go beyond that because after that we have to put it out to the town and we'll see what happens with that. So do you have a schedule when you want to put that out to vote? Like this um, November or next March? No, no. When when was the schedule, Jane? Do you remember? We they're gonna they're gonna it finish a sketch pretty plan. Pretty accelerated, yeah. I mean, I yeah. think it would be a special. I yeah, it has to be a special, special vote. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you're gonna do a special vote. I think it may be uh, ready by summer, but you know you gotta present it to the town. So that's where the architects are gonna help us, and hopefully you will too, yeah. because we'll have to have a series of uh, forums. Do you have a building? Sort of thing. Nope. Okay. We're yeah. kind of ad hoc. I I've been okay. on it. Yeah. And do you, right. So you're going to have to report to the select board, basically. Yeah. Yeah. No, but, I think that's something you should discuss. Yeah. So just so you all know, I'm actually leaving my position um, effective just April 30th. Started. So I think uh, <laughs> I think something also for you all to communicate is who is their point of contact. How do yeah. you want the communication to flow between all stakeholders that are part of this project? So basically, um, we would need to be filled in as a select board at. Our meetings okay. now. If there's nothing to report, you okay. probably should uh, say that yeah. to whoever's sitting in the office taking Gina's place, um, or you can I, communicate I with can, me I as the chair yeah. of the uh, select board. So, if there's something a pressing nature, then you email me. Yep. Okay. And we don't want to. We don't want to waste your time, or we don't want to get billed for stuff. Or we don't want to, just to say. But, I don't mind zooming in either. I mean, yeah, that's I, probably I, I what you're going to be doing. What I would do. Yeah. yeah is if it was something really magical, I would come. Yeah. But, uh, What's the question? So I do have one question. So I, I see you've got a total budget here, but I assume everything is done by the hour. Yeah. It is, unless you want it not to exceed. But typically, yeah, it's done by the hour. I used to dollars. do this type of work. I yep. just wanted to make sure. Yep. Yep. Just point of order, uh, Andy Shapiro was unable to get into the Zoom, and so he called me, and I put him on loudspeaker. Okay. Here, so hopefully you'll be able to hear, and we'll be able to hear hear him. Can you hear us, Andy? Uh, yes, I can. Thank you. Is that the loudest that thing goes? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so Andy Shapiro is sort of on the building committee right also, yeah. and uh, the public works works in public works. Or? Uh, well, he's a town citizen with a lot of experience in building and okay. and energy, and efficiency. Yeah. Okay. okay. So no he problem. he's been on the meetings that I've been in. He and I have been 
meeting with the architects and Gina has been also and also a road form with Guthrie Perry. So, so Guthrie is actually he's, on. Yeah. So to introduce you yes. to, to Guthrie, he's that a, is he's the, the main guy. Foreman, so he is, yes, he is he's the, the main architect. guy. He, no, that is the road no. foreman. Oh, that's road foreman? So that would okay. be your head of public works that okay. will. And we're going to name the building after him. <laughs> so of course you'll be in touch with him. <laughs> right, right. Well, I, yeah, that's what I'm, I'm uh, trying to, you know, yeah, that when it comes out. to uh, concerns about design or yeah. Things so like you got that. the roller format. Yeah. You've got myself. You get the email. You have got the select board that you should report to um, at all our meetings, and it can be just a Zoom. Nothing to say. Yep. See you later. Bye. Yeah. Or it can be blah blah blah. Right. So blah blah blah. After a while, gets tired. Of blah blah blah. <coughs> so, but so. there are important things. Yeah. <laughs> and and if I could just add, just through through the process, <clears throat> obviously very preliminary. There's been a lot of questions about cost, about the building, what the <clears throat> and we've we've been trying to sell the initial phase of having you guys on hand. You're not GC per se, <clears throat> but you're like a member of the town yeah. that wants their money protected and everything built up to standards or whatever as, as a comfort level. Uh, Seth has stressed that many times already. We do a lot I of I think you said something there, but I'm very familiar sure. with uh, <laughs> these types of buildings. I've just recently have estimated one in, in uh, upstate New York, and of course we've done several of them in Vermont, <clears throat> but not recently as far as a public <clears throat> work one, uh -huh. but uh, <clears throat> a lot of familiarity with you know types of designs and building choices and and those types of issues which I will you know gladly convey to you as they come up uh, you know and, like and I think Andy is an important person to keep in, in the, the circle in the yeah because yeah, he's really crackerjack on efficiency yeah. and he, he's gone through this process with other buildings all over yeah. the state so he's a great person to get in touch with so I think you should have you know Guthrie's contact information mine um, Andy's and then of course the select board you know Tune in at the meetings. You'll get that agenda. Maybe we'll, have, we'll, we'll, maybe we'll attend some of the. Yeah. What's that? Maybe we'll attend some of the. The meetings. Well, or yeah. or you know, yeah, if, if it's like, yeah, you can yeah. always watch orca stuff online. Yeah. On yeah. Demand. yeah. Yeah. So. So basically, you'll be representing our best interests. I'm sure you're familiar with that. Sure. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. The. Uh, well, Andy's saying something. Uh, are you trying to get our attention, Andy? Pardon me. Are you trying to get our attention? Okay, could you mute yourself then if you're talking to somebody else there? Yeah, Thank you. On. Yeah. So uh, the intent of this, uh, who dictates the schedule is usually either us, the owner's rep, or yeah. the select board, or the right. building committee. And sometimes you want to make sure that you're keeping the architect in step. And yeah. We, uh, I think we are comfortable doing that, and if yeah. you don't want us to keep them in step, we don't have to. Well, I so, think that um, they're in step right now. Yeah. Okay. Right? Is that correct, mm -hmm. Gina? Um, they've had some meetings with Guthrie, with they have meetings with uh, Gina, and uh, you know, your voice doesn't have to be the loudest in the room, but right. you know, you but need to be part of the process. Like, you oh know, yeah, we want to see this in three weeks. Yeah, it's been three weeks. Is it yeah, they they have a pretty aggressive schedule with us, okay. so I think it's going to work out pretty well as far as that goes. <laughs> Good. So there won't be a lot of stuff, you know, a lot of involvement or hours on our part in the nope. beginning. Yeah. You know, once we get a vote through, yeah, and uh, absolutely and we start to, yeah, to um, build it. You know, now are you comfortable with attending the forums that we're going to have? Oh, information? Yeah. Okay. Because, yeah. yeah. you know, it's it's going to be a lot of information that we're trying to present at the town uh, forums, and also we're trying to lead townspeople in our direction. And there's <coughs> going to be a lot of questions about design, et cetera, et cetera. So the more hands we have on deck for those processes, the better. So do you know uh, what, uh, you have a mind of a budget or? Uh, budget for you? No, no, our, not ours, the entire <laughs> project. <laughs> the, uh, uh, well, yeah. we've, we've got kind of a general ballpark what it could yeah. cost, but we haven't gotten specific details okay. yet because we're okay. still in the beginning of it. Okay. Yeah. And how many we just did square vehicles footage. is it going to house? Oh, it's like eight or something. Yeah. Yeah. It's, got, it's, got it's a 9,000 square feet, or 8,750 square feet. Ask, yeah, okay. got to just chime in if you've got any 9,000 square feet good enough for that. Yeah, yeah. It's a little under that, I think. Yeah, I think the generic number right now is about 8,700 square feet. Um, so it'll be... How many, how many vehicles? <laughs> it'll have 
five, that will have six vehicle bays and then one bay that will be able to house multiple pieces of the equipment. The way that we're, the, the, what seems the most feasible right now um, of the couple of designs that we've kind of started to look at. So we're right in the infancy. Yep. Yeah. I can send you though, kind of where we are right now with the architects. Yeah. Um, like the, you know, they sent us a good email recently, I don't know, week, two weeks or so ago um, with kind of the, you know, preliminary thoughts on where they're going. Cause that, and that's what they keep reaching out to Guthrie and I about with questions. Guthrie provided them an inventory of everything that will need to go into the garage. So they were working on placing yep. everything in the, in the floor plan to make sure everything is going to fit and get him the, basically how he can function getting everything in and out yep. um, based on specifications that Guthrie's already provided. So they, they've been great to work with asking Guthrie questions, every meeting we've had with them, Guthrie's walking them through, you know, how he plans to use the building. And, okay. um, so and his needs. yeah, exactly. Which all of that's come from buildings that we went and toured in all honesty. I mean, that's a few things from our old building that we like, and then quite a few things from, more modern buildings that seem very efficient. And it's on the same site? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. A little closer to the road, but the same yeah. site. Yeah. Nothing's in stone yet. Yeah. Right. We're working on it. <laughs> You're working on moving it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Who knows? Okay. Well, it's, yeah, it's I mean, fluid. at this point, it's fluid. It's, at this point, you don't want to over design it until the, the, the voters say yes. I mean, I've been through several of these. From yeah. That, sitting where you guys are and it's a big chore to get it across the yeah the yeah. I mean, this, yeah it is so and who knows you know this came up at town meeting we had a, a bit of a presentation and people think it's a good idea others don't think you know we should have it there or have it you know have, it, have a new town garage so you know and with taxes going way up oh you know, i know it's, it's hard it's good, you know, good you didn't do it it's at an town issue. meeting <laughs> well we talked about a town meeting yeah we didn't have the vote obviously yeah. but we talked about it, but you know, town meeting, 100 people, there's 23, 2400 voters in East Montpelier, so it's a very few How people. How many voters do you actually get? Six, seven hundred? At town meeting? Yeah. No, no, I'll spare you about. Oh, how many did we get? Eight, nine, eight hundred? Nine, Rosie? That was eight, nine hundred, I think. Gone. Yeah. Rosie, how many, what was, what was the total vote count? I think it was eight or nine hundred. I, I think it was pretty good. Nine hundred. Yeah, some audio um, it's not bad because we mail the votes, yeah. mail the ballots, I mean. Oh. And that really does spur uh, voter participation, yeah. actually. Um, so we've had really good luck doing that. You're going to do the same with the town building? You're going to mail the votes? Or you I think we should. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. it's the town's money and garage. It's, yeah. I mean, we want to reach as many to. people as possible, and that's the best way to do it. I mean, if they don't yeah. want a town garage, yeah. we don't want to just have 200 people voting yes. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's, that's, not, yeah. that's not what we're here for. Yeah. As like, much as we may want it. Yeah. But... I mean, they know. I mean, this, how old is the town garage? Well, it's probably started in 55. 1950. 1950. Yeah, yeah it's older than me. <laughs> <laughs> and that's old. That's old. <laughs> Not that far from me, though. But, uh, <laughs> really? <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, Seven years. Yeah, we'll probably do the mail and thing because I think it okay. will reach more people. And, yeah. and in person. I mean, it would be both. Well, of course. Yeah. So, anyway. <clears throat> Any more questions? I don't have any questions. You know, I'm kind of looking forward to it. Another, uh, I like municipal, uh, municipal, municipality projects, and I think yeah. it should be good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just, yep. you're, you're here to watch our ass. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> so I'm going to leave these cards. Not too many people use them nowadays, but. Uh, That's okay. No good. One, I'll, I'll, I'll take one. Put one in your wallet. And then, or, then you'll just need contact uh, info. Yep. And be him I and I, uh, mainly, uh, we have another kind of office guys around the office but he doesn't have to stay involved with this project now that it's a project so yeah okay okay well, sounds perfect so, well, well, just, i'm looking forward to working with you yeah, just what yeah. just what what is your background i mean what, uh, what is your, your certifications a, or i am a, a hvac guy a service guy in my 20s okay and i became and in, got into facilities and then i became an owner's rep where i repped owners and different projects, mostly at a hospital and- uh, Buildings? Then, yeah, hospital buildings. Okay. And, you know, a hospital builds all kinds of buildings. They build storage buildings and they build, uh, you know, clinics and office buildings. So uh, that's where I got the experience, kind of the ground, the footing to finish uh, experience. But my expertise is in kind of uh, HVAC, 
electrical systems, those those uh, parts there. Energy efficiency, got a couple of awards with energy efficiency, and and then uh, I ended up purchasing this company in 2018. Okay. So. Nice. And I've done everything. I was at actually GMTA for seven years, so I'm familiar with the town and was here with a lot of yep. select board meetings yep. a couple of years ago and then I got my teaching license that didn't pan out and mm -hmm. construction for a few years and and now uh, with Mark uh, most recently at, I'm at Burlington High School now overseeing that project uh, which, which high school? Burlington okay sure. um, was at the South Burlington prison for six eight months watching them do a new roof uh -huh. um, so yeah that's my yeah, good. nutshell. Okay. Good. Well, I was on the select board in Springfield also in early 2000. What? So we did a police station, did the same. Oh, yeah. Like where you guys are from, you know that. Yeah, nuts to bolts. Yeah. Yeah. So. Nice. Anyways, if you're uh, all good with this, I'll okay. sure I'll I think we are. We're just going to make a motion to accept the contract, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I I right somebody to sign it. Accept the contract. That's good. Second. Um, I, I, anyway, and, 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 wait, 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 wait. Andy's got to something to say. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I just wanted to introduce myself to you. Um, I'll be working on energy efficiency and embodied carbon in the building. We're going to look at, we set up the RFP, so we'll look at a couple of different options for mechanicals and for building enclosure. And I'll be doing energy modeling and looking at operating costs, and then uh, we'll compare any kind of savings we can get with what's the incremental cost to do those things. and. Uh, so we can make some informed decisions about how far we want to go on efficiency on the building. Uh, we've got a very good uh, engineering team on it uh, who's done a bunch of uh, uh, garages. Uh, Dan Dupers at Engineering Services at Vermont. So he's got some great ideas about how to make this thing really good and, and uh, not so expensive to build, too. So I'm looking forward to that. Is Engineering Services of Vermont uh, the engineer of choice? Yes. Okay. Excellent choice. Dan Dupers, great choice. And, okay. and we got uh, engineering ventures on structural. Good. That shouldn't be too much structural. But. Okay. They're a good team. They're a good uh, team member also. Yeah. EBI I work with them all the time. Okay. Good. Yeah. Well, okay. it sounds exciting. <laughs> yeah, it is going to be exciting. Yeah, I know. Fun. <laughs> it's going to be uh, fun. Check it out. See if it gets by the voters first. Yes, step exactly. One. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Small issue. But, you know, we're all part of that presentation, so that's yeah. our job. Yep. Yeah. Is to get that out there and but for you to give the voters the you know the, the comfort that as I as I mentioned before. Yeah. Well a positive we're spin we're and well good, good and clear that, presentation. That we'll be more representative. Yeah. You're on our side, not their side. Yes. Right. All right. That's right. Point, important distinction. Well that's how we've been selling it. Yeah. All right. Well thank you. Guys. Thank, yeah. you. Right. thank you. Hey, hey Andy, Andy. Andy. I will, I will email you contact us tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Andy, thank you for being on board. You're gonna, you're a huge help. Thank you. Sorry, I couldn't be there in person. That's okay. Maybe we'll someday we'll see you again. <laughs> we hope so. We hope so. You look, you look good on Carl's cell phone. <laughs> oh, really? God, so the motion is guy. to authorize the town administrator to sign the contract with VISCC. Tom made, and I seconded. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes appear to have it. They do have it. Who's signing this thing? I can sign. You can sign? Mm -hmm. Okay. I will Sounds sign good. it and send it to them tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. We just authorized her to do that. What's that? We just authorized her to do that. Okay, yeah. Sounds good. Um, the next, we're slightly ahead of schedule. Is that okay, Scott? All right, I'll see you all. Bye. Okay, we'll Bye. see you, Andy. Thank you. Um, select board rules of transaction. We've got these right here. We need to accept these as the rules. Same procedure as last year. Yep. We will make a motion to accept as written. Yeah, I would. Oh. Uh, I'm just looking at the rules of order, be governed by Robert's Rules of Order 2020 edition. I have come across in a different context, just uh, realization of a limitation uh, when they keep revising that to refer to an older one and then we go out and buy a newer one. So I don't I don't know offhand which one we have over there in our shelf. 2020 I bet. It, it might be. But, um, but just for 
future purposes of keeping this up to date? Should we just say the most recent edition? I think we should. Okay. Yeah, but this may not follow the most recent edition. That's true. Well, if this oh, you're just saying the meeting shall be governed by the most recent edition. Yeah. Of yeah. Robert's yeah. rules. Of Robert's rules. Not yeah, Robert's rules. rules. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I read the Wall Street Journal and Barron's car reads. Robert's rules. The most <laughs> up to date Robert's <laughs> rules. Okay. So it's a, sure. I, def I defer to my colleague. <laughs> okay. Okay. So is the motion going to be changed at all? Say, say we don't again. know. I was wondering if the motion was going to be changed at all for the minutes. Yes. Based on. Is it going to be? Or you just want to say change that? To, to change the change change most yeah. updated yeah. Yeah. average rules. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Zoe. Okay. So we do have a motion. Uh, no, second. Okay. Okay. I made the motion, but. Yeah. Who made the motion? You made, made the motion? The motion. Uh, I made the motion. motion. Okay. So then he's going to second. Tom, or Tom's going to second. second. Okay. If, okay. we arm wrestle, and, if we arm wrestle, I'll probably lose. And the, I think you will. And the motion, <laughs> the motion is to, um, to accept the um, 2024 Select Board Rules of Transaction with, uh, <coughs> as put forth with the amendment of uh, Robert's Rules of Order. The parenthesis now reads the most recent edition. Is that clear, Zoe? Um, pretty much, yeah. Okay. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes appear to have it, they do have it. Okay, so that is done. All right. Lots of tree shit now. I mean, tree things now. What did you say? I said lots of tree shit now. I mean, things now. Okay. Um, select board organization. So we need uh, chairman, vice chair. I nominate Seth Gardner Oops, to sorry. chair the select board. <clears throat> I will second that. I'm not supposed to. That's right. I invite. Right. I am the chair of this section of the meeting yes. as vice chair. <laughs> uh, so I'm. Has, has so to uh, um, Scott I, has nominated Seth Gardner, Seth Gardner for, for chair, and Zoe has seconded it. Is there any discussion? Seeing none. All those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Motion, I recuse myself. Motion passes four to zero to zero to one. With right. Seth recused. Gotcha. Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I you've, think. you've done a great job. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's an evolutionary process, you know. You learn as you go. Yeah. But thank you very much for the vote of confidence. I think um, it'll be a great year, and we'll see what happens. Lots of challenges ahead, but it's exciting too. Yeah. Um, so, vice chair. I nominate Zoe Christensen to be vice chair. I'll second that. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Everybody's so happy the bells are ringing, Zoe. I'm shocked. <laughs> <coughs> yes, yes, sir. I would like to, I'd like to be reflected in the minutes, um, thanking Carl Nyer for yep. his past service as a uh, as an excellent <coughs> select board vice chair. I'd like that, please, recorded in the minutes. Thank yeah. You. And the nice thing is that we'll still have Carl's advice from time to time on various rules. And I still get to sit at the flat part of the room, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that what you're looking for? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the emeritus vice chair gets to sit wherever you want. That's the only reason why I agreed that I might step up to this room. Uh, uh -huh. Well, too bad. We, we, Leaving we the slant. About getting something built here to uh, straighten out the floor so that people really? don't have to sit sideways and hurt their backs. Oh. Yeah. Might help my back over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm willing to try it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What else do we have to elect? That's it. Um, so we're going to X off the request from Sibley Farm? Yeah. Did, now... So, um, I want to say something to what, a what, future meeting. They just were not ready. They're still gathering information. So, when I sent out the agenda, the response I got was that they're not, they wouldn't be ready. For so, the planning commission changed the rules for the, that for them back when I was on the planning commission to make sure they could do the wedding um, activities in that barn because in that zone that they're in, it wasn't allowed. 
is zone the zoning. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I'm not sure what. I don't really think. Given any specifics about what exactly it is that they're. Well, what they're saying now. is because the town <clears throat> holds the easement in okay. conjunction with the land trust, is that we need to be consulted when they're doing. Well, they don't. We don't. We don't. I mean, <laughs> just do it. <laughs> That's like the land trust telling me I need to report in to them. I, I've never bothered. And life goes on. Yeah. And they send out a new person every year. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm blah, blah. I'm like, oh, I never saw you before. Well, you know. So it's, you know, it's not like it's a process where there's a lot of oversight mm -hmm. on what you do. So we're certainly not going to go to the Sibley farm and say, oh, you're doing a wedding? I mean, come on. <laughs> what? That's your business. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so we are going to finish with the rules of transaction according to the annotated memo. We're supposed to authorize someone to um, sign payroll warrants, Ooh. payroll vendor warrants, and special expense warrants when due dates don't align with meeting dates, and yeah. we can authorize an alternate. Uh, so I would move to authorize the chair to sign those and the vice chair to be the alternate. Yeah, that would work really well. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Please say aye. I mean, I've been, I've been doing the payroll warrants. I don't mind yeah. doing it. Um, you know, at some point, I'm going to say bye-bye. But if Zoe's the alternate and she lives not too far exactly. away, it works pretty well. If yeah. you're on the other side of town and you've got to keep doing the payroll warrants, it can be a pain. Yeah. But if you're going by the town office, like, you know, if you find a mistake, then they got to redo it. Then you got to come back the next day. Then you got to do this. And it's mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. gee, you know, you could be here two or three times in a week. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. But if you're going by, it's not a big deal. <coughs> if you're over on Sparrow Farm Road, it's kind of a pain. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a pain. Yeah. So. It's a half an hour. Yeah. So anyway. <coughs> if you're available. Um, okay, so we're done with that. <coughs> Correct? Okay. Um, so consideration of bid responses for 2024 Ash Tree Management Project. So we're ahead of schedule. So we will have. I mean, we have oh, okay, yep. We have Guthrie on, but we don't have Jeff Queto or. Okay, because they're going to be. I believe they would be here speaking to. Okay, this, let's. So. Yep. Now, Michelle is on for treasurer. Yep. And the next items are treasurer. So, Michelle, if you can hear us, we can, you can Great. go ahead and. Yeah, we can that. do that and just wait for this one. Can you hear us, Michelle? I'm here. Hello. Can hi. they hear me? Hi. I can hear you. <laughs> okay, hi. So, <clears throat> we're ahead of schedule. Can we do your report and also the consideration of new vendor? Yes, you can. I'm here. Oh, I'm nice. ready. I'm ready. Okay. So the treasure reports, um, there's nothing new on that a little bit, but the financials are, are good. Not anything, nothing's jumping out. Okay. Question. We're question. on schedule with expenses. Yes. One question. Sure. Yeah. Mr. Chair. Please. Um, gr great work on investing our money. My, my mantra since basically for 52 weeks ago. Um, yeah. Is there anything else that we can, I mean, are you kind of maxed out with, is every, is, every, is, is every dollar, at least in a money market fund, I mean, some of the, you know, some cash in the um, checking account, but is there anything more we could do? Um, maybe down the road. I don't want to jump too far and do that just yet. We have, okay. we have a lot of money put away in the investment, so... We do like to keep a little in the uh, the uh, main checking because we have to pay the school in June. So there's still some money in there. Oh. But I mean, I think we're good. We have everything invested and nothing's due and we're getting higher rates and we're doing well. Okay. Right. Yeah, you gotta have some money in. Well, well no, it, everything's liquid. You can, you can sell a CD, you can sell a T-bill tomorrow. Yeah. Um, you we have a big money. payment coming up though in, in by June for the school. It's like two million. Yeah. So no, that's no, 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 no. That, this is your job, and yeah. this is awesome. Thank you. I just you you're you're maxing it out. You know what to do. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. So you want you don't have anything new on the monthly financial reporting package? No. Okay. Okay. Um. 
And then the other thing you want to talk about was consideration of new vendor for town online paper. I, I have one, one other quick question. Did did we have updates? How was the the tax receipts? Was there maybe because was it the last meeting that we made them in April, right? Sorry, I can't I can't hear what you're asking. No, the, 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 tax, about the tax, tax receipts. How, how much how much tax receipts are still outstanding? No, it's very small. Is it okay? You talking about delinquent so taxes? The tax sales, yeah. Which oh, the, the tax sale never happened because everybody either paid or is on a payment plan. Okay. So our delinquent taxes are the smallest they've been in years and years and years. Oh, 34,000. Yeah. 40-something thousand, right? 34. 34,000. 34,000 yeah. is outstanding? Yeah, it's usually That's 100. I know. Usually Close to 200. No, yeah. It's nothing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Great. Okay. End of conversation. Good. Thank you. Um, Okay, so the next thing you want to talk about was the change of vendor, and that's for the. the it's for the, yep. It's for the payment portal online. Yeah. And who we currently are contracted with, it ends April 9th. Um, okay. and it, both neither company charges us any money at all. Um, they just start providing the service to us, but they charge fees to the people who use the service. That's how they make yeah. their money. Yeah. Um, but this company is one who does it with municipate does all municipal, a lot of municipals. They know how to deal with municipals. The company that we're currently contracted with is terrible. That's my feeling about it, but it's confusing. Their, their online portal is terrible. Their reporting is horrible. Their customer service isn't good. Um, municipate seems to know what municipals need and they, they, they cover it. And how, how do you really feel? How do you really feel about the current company? <laughs> Sorry. I'm just going to tell you how I feel. <laughs> well, thank so, you for the yeah. great report. <laughs> so you're going to switch. You'll yes. Switch. Yes. Totally. I'd like to switch. I, I need a motion to be able to do that, I think. So they charge for an ACH, huh? Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Well, they, idea. yeah, they both do. Both companies charge. Okay. I guess I never noticed. So the, the fees are comparable. Um, the only one big difference is that on Municipate, there's a minimum fee of right. $3. So people who are paying like a $9 um, dog tag are going to be charged more for that. Unless unless they come in with a check. Or cash. Did you ever hear of cash? Like greenbacks? I have. Back I have. years ago? Okay. Some people pay in cash. I always pay my tax bill in cash. Oh, you do? Okay. Pennies. <laughs> <laughs> Dollar bills. Uh, I'm, I'm sure there are. Okay. So I think it's a good idea. Okay. So you just need a motion? Under the table. Yeah. Yep. I got to get it going so that everything's set up. Yeah, which, I never, which I've never been able to do. I make okay. a motion to... Um, Engage Munici Pay as our new vendor. <clears throat> is there a term on this for, for um, five, five years? The other, so yes, they, the other one. I don't know what the term is. I will find out. I'm not sure. I'm. Okay. I don't. I don't know. So Good question. Month to month or day to day. Yeah. I'm just questioning because the last one was, was five for five years. years. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. I will find out. If there is none, then that's even better. I've used this one before at in a different town, and I really liked it, so I'm familiar with it as well. My motion still stands. Do we have a second on that? I'll second it. Tom seconded it. Uh, Is there further discussion? Because what are we doing for the year? Just contracting with them for whatever year? It may, be, it may, to, it may not be a contract. It might be day to day. How, how I think it's probably no longer than five years. That sounds reasonable. That sounds good. Yeah. <clears throat> Up to and no longer than or zero. Okay. Yeah, from zero to five zero years. Zero to five years. I'm just wondering what this document was that says municipate at the top that's on the website. Um, I got it right here. It and it seems to be signed by somebody. A subscriber at NICS. Is this some other towns? I think those are just the old contracts you're looking at for each. I I'm I don't, I'm not that sure, but I think yeah, yeah, that's that's for the yeah. other company. Yeah, April. it's just showing you the terms on like the difference in the two contracts. Oh, okay, that's confusing because it says municipate at the top, but then the second page is Schedule A. Yeah, and that's 
that's the comp- the second that's oh. vic yeah okay that's the you. one we're getting rid of okay and then do we need to buy new equipment for 229 dollars for municipal we don't think we need it because they can most people go through the pay portal online and the ones that come in we can do it through the pay portal ourselves online we don't really right. need a machine okay. so we don't think we need to spend the money okay that's good it's yeah. as if applicable yeah. right 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 yes scott so there's no there's no change right now to the taxpayer so for instance my i pay i pay through ach you automatically send me a bill two months ahead or a month ahead and then it just comes out on that day well we don't have to do anything that's a different that's different that's not a pay portal yeah that's direct debit oh yeah mine's just direct debit yeah that's different that's a that's a different thing different program but my point is i don't have to do anything differently no you don't you should no it It won't look any different for people it won't look any different for customers when they when they go in i don't think it's going to look that much different maybe slightly but i it's going to look pretty much the same okay so do we have a motion uh, yeah, I yeah I zoe, a motion. zoe did we decide no, to amend the motion to be between zero and five years yeah yes yeah yeah to be yeah. no more than five years and authorize the town treasurer to sign them okay yeah, and yeah. authorize the town treasurer to sign the contract. Yeah. Did you hear that, Zoe? So we have a motion, and who was the second? Tom. Tom's the second. And is there any more discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes appear to have it, they do have it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, bye. 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 Have a nice night. You're leaving us? I'm leaving you. Have a good bye. life. Okay, so we're still a little ahead of schedule. Um, we could do the local hazard mitigation. Okay, yeah, let's do that. that right. So you've got four bids, it looks like? Yes. Yeah. And which one are you recommending? Well, Central Vermont Regional Planning Commission is who did it last time. Yes, I remember that. So they would have intimate familiarity with okay. not only the plan, but also the town. Yeah. Um, and it's in our interest to, I mean, they are the second highest bidder out of I four, know, but, but it is in our interest to, to support. help to support them and help them continue their connection with the town because we will be doing other projects with them. I think that, I think it's a good choice. And it's, all of these are within the grant funding that we have available. So oh, okay. What? How much is the grant that we can get? It's like ninety-seven hundred, I think. Is okay. Grant All right. And this is apples to apples. And the work is apples to apples. Yeah. Yeah. What was the question, Zoe? How much Gina said was in the grant? Ninety-seven. It's, I think it's ninety-seven hundred. I don't have the exact number. Of Around right ninety-seven. Now. Plus or minus. Okay. I mean, all of these vendors, of course, are good. They have done them in the state in the past, but right. regional planning we have worked with in the past. So Yeah. That was probably the last one. I thought it was regional went planning pretty well. Yep. Yeah. There was a bunch of us in the room. I remember that. Mm-hmm. But yeah. they the person that we had led us along really we, well. Mm-hmm. It was a big help. The, any of the work that we've had <clears throat> them do for the planning commission we've been very happy with. Yeah. Same kind of same kind of thing. Yeah, it was great. So person they send is usually good and they move it along. So I'd say we... I move to authorize the town <coughs> administrator to sign a contract with the Central Vermont Regional Planning Commission to provide local hazard mitigation planning services. I'll we, second that. Scott, Scott did it first. You did the second, Scott. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> the new vice chair pull, well, can pull rank. <laughs> yeah, but I, I can't, you know. I, I'll be the referee here, and I heard your voice first. Okay. So Sorry, Zoe. Zoe. Okay. Sorry, Zoe. Um, no problem. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. The aye. ayes appear to have it. They do have it. <clears throat> um, so... So 
Jeff Queto is on. Oh. I'm not sure if anyone else from the we can ask him. particular committee will be joining, but you can ask see Jeff. if he wants to go ahead and proceed. Jeff, are you ready to do the uh, consideration of bid responses? Or is there somebody else coming from me? Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, I think uh, well, Guthrie's with us. Uh, and uh, Paul is not going to be able to make it to the census for regrets. Um, I, think, I think Steve Justice was probably planning on coming in. Uh, I don't know. If, I mean, we can proceed without him. Uh, I guess we're running a little. Well, we can we can fit something else in if you want to wait for him. Um, it's up to you. Yeah, it's, I, I think we could probably proceed. Okay. Uh, All right. So basically, uh, we opened bids on we opened bids on Friday. Uh, this was divided into two different projects. Uh, the Adamant project is the one that had received a grant from the state uh, since they consider Adamant to be a urban center. Uh, so they have special grants this year. Um, and that's uh, what uh, we received for Adamant. The other other project, Brazier and Lyle Young Roads, um, was a separate application and we didn't get a grant for that. And what we had applied for was uh, Caring for Canopies grant, which is what we had received in the past uh, for other projects. Um, Adamant, the Urban Center's grant just pertained to work within one mile of Adamant. Um, but for the purposes of putting it out to bid, uh, that project we extended to uh, um, Dodge Road, basically, to uh, finish removing ash trees on on uh, Center Road. Uh, so that one covered Center Road, Agate Road, and Sodom Pond Road, and the other ones Brazier and Lyle Young Road. Um, so as as you can see, um, we had quite a bit of competition uh, in terms of bidding, which I think, think everybody is pretty happy about. Uh, and quite a range of bids. Um, two of the two of the ones, uh, the, the two low bids, uh, Barry's Forest Products and LG Ferno Forest Products, um, fairly close in terms of, of bids, about thousand dollars apart. Uh, both of those, they're loggers, and they would be using a feller buncher to do the work. So this would be different than how we've done projects in the past uh, using arborists and a bucket truck and kind of the conventional approach to doing it. Um, Guthrie had met with uh, both of those uh, bidders. Um, Paul and I and uh, Guthrie met with uh, Barry's Forest Products. Um, the Resilient Roads Committee met this morning at the old town garage um, and uh, discussed the bidders and the consensus of our committee was to recommend uh, using Barry's Forest products. Um, one of the things we had also discussed, um, this would be uh, for the two projects, it's about 380 ash trees altogether um to date we've done roughly 800 trees out of the 2400 more or less ash trees that we inventoried back five years ago um so we're like a third of the way there now and uh so this would add uh substantially this year seeing as we beefed up our budget for ash tree removal so we had talked about spending up to $60,000. We've got the $7,000 grant. Um, and one thing we want to explore, if, um, if the select board favors various forest products, as we recommend, um, the cost, cost per tree is $123. 
Uh, the past two years, we're spending $149 per tree. So we're actually, per tree cost came down this year, uh, which is good. And uh, seeing as we're going to be spending quite a bit less than our budget uh, to do this work, um, we think there's an opportunity to add a few trees. So we discussed uh, maybe doing two or three other roads um, if uh, uh, Barry's Forest Products uh, would be interested in expanding the project. Um, we'd expect um, from what they were telling us that this work could proceed much more quickly um, using the, the Feller Buncher. Um, so we should be able to stay on schedule and perhaps fit in some additional work. Um, and that would be our recommendation. Um, there might, you know, it, it's sort of, um, we wouldn't want to sign them up to do the initial or the additional work right off until we actually saw uh, how well the Feller Buncher uh, performed in terms of um, limiting collateral damage uh, to nearby trees is one of the things that uh, uh, we have a, a bit of concern about. Um, but we think uh, we were talking about just driving around, flagging uh, locations where that would be an issue, and then they would uh, proceed with cutting those specific ash trees a little bit differently in order to protect adjacent high value trees. Um, so that's, that's sort of it in a nutshell. If you, uh, I'd mention also that this is the year that um, uh, we'd have Montpelier coming up to do some treatment of ash trees. If you recall, we have five, five trees that we treated a couple of years, well, three years ago. And uh, so we're on a three year cycle and uh, they're supposed to be here this spring to uh, do the treatment. Um, yes. Uh, Guthrie, did you want to add anything? The only thing I would add is uh, like we discussed this morning was that, um, you know, in the long run, they are all, any contractor that has this, they're all held to the same standard as far as the end, the end product that they produce for us. So that's one thing that we did discuss quite a bit this morning. And, and that I think keeping that in mind is going to be key. And the other part of the roads being congested is going to be significantly less from what we've right. discussed with both, both contractors. So um, I, I think, I think that's all things to take into consideration being such a, being a bigger project than we've done in the last four years. So. We got a question, Tom? Yeah. So I noticed in their bid, they did not include traffic control. Did you discuss that with them at all? Yes, I discussed that with any contractor that got a hold of me about it. And that was that we are going to close the road to everyone other than residents, even if it is the other, con any anyone that we would hire. Um, it'll be like closed driveway to driveway as they go down the road, as they work down the road. Um, so it wouldn't just be closed hard. Obviously, everyone needs to get in and out, but it'll be a very small segment where the working would be closed off to everything while they're working that area. The reason we do that is traffic control comes up at nearly $1,000 a day on the average. So when you're talking about it, having them here for three or four weeks, you can spend, you know, twenty thousand dollars in four weeks on flaggers so that passes right along to us and that it's just it it drives the price sky high instantly so thank you so you you guys are both comfortable with uh berries uh forest products that was the consensus of the committee today when we met yeah they're just yeah. doing they're using a skitter basically fell a bunch they're just coming kind of Cut and go. They're not even using a skidder. They'll be forwarding it on log trucks. So, yeah. but when downing it with a machine, downing it with downing the majority of them with a machine, yeah, and then moving the tops with a log truck. Yeah, with a loader. And then what do they do with the ash? Do they just stack it by the side of the road. 
that's what it's in the that's what they bid on was leaving the wood along the edge of the road like okay yeah. landowners that, many times want the wood right okay. so we deliver that after the fact so. yeah 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 gotcha yep all right well sounds good to me there's no downsides to going with a fairly low bid <laughs> i'd i'll try to make a motion right <laughs> obviously you're gonna make the motion i'll try the motion <laughs> no, I'm going to attempt. Um, I'd like to make a motion to authorize the town administrator to contact with Barry's Forest Products for the removal of 192 trees from Center Road, Sodom Pond, and Haggett Road, 178 trees from Brazier Road and Lyle Young Road. Second. So it's the town administrator is signing on behalf of the town. It's not the town administrator's yeah. contract. That's, it. that's implied. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. In our yeah. authorization. Yeah. 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 Well, I just put it, she's going to write it. Unless it's on behalf of herself. But I was just saying, yeah. we authorize. Okay. There's a genius signing it on behalf of yourself. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> that's what. Uh, let's see. Any further discussion? Any further discussion? Can I met? I know I'm on the not on the select board, but can I mention um, there are a small number of trees, perhaps four or five trees, uh, that we didn't mark, but that we would want to remove um, if if they were willing to basically remove them at sort of the same rate. Uh, we'd like to have that work done at the same time, so it might be another six hundred dollars yeah. or something to take those trees out. So is the price? Yeah, I was just thinking: is the price per tree, or is just as a contract to do the, the lump lump sum bid? Lump sum bid, exactly. Uh -huh. right. but that's so, probably ought to take that number of trees out of, trees of the out motion. Out yeah. Of okay. Yeah. And out for of a, motion for a total price of not more than forty six thousand yeah. three hundred dollars. Yeah. I'm going to put $1,000 on it. Give me some wiggle room. Okay. 46650 46, up to the discretion no. of the committee. Is that is that good? You guys got a, you got a grant, grant to play with? Got, got to, we need that, your, we I need think your we can work with that. Here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, then I'll, then I'll go with it. Whatever. Got to be likes it. I like it. Okay. Well, the there's room in my budget if there is a few extra beyond that. It's not the end of the world. So okay. I can have a bill separate. We don't, we don't have to do it separate. We just need to get a, make the amount big enough so they can do all the work. Yeah. That's it's, all. It's, it's, it's the end of the next two weeks if you have to amend it. How's that? Okay. You can say 50,000. What the heck? Mm -hmm. It's the end of the tree, not the end of the world. <laughs> oh, very good. Uh, okay. I don't know what you put in there for now. Somebody... 46,650. Oh, you just added a thousand. Yeah. Okay. Can you round it off? Is that is that a, a or, 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 add add a dollar or something? Or add a doller? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're giving them a thousand dollars leeway. Huh? We're giving them a thousand. Yeah. Dollars. Okay. The contracts can be signed for this, but if yeah. they need. Yeah. Make it for forty seven. So long. The, the, the road. So the road can uh, should be more than yeah. that. Yeah. All right. Road budget. Continues. Yeah, I don't really want to take it out We're of the road budget. Trying to be capitally can't help conservative it. here. Okay. Good enough. Whatever. And we're trying to we're no trying more to, discussion. We're trying to confuse Zoe. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Let's spend ten minutes arguing over three hundred fifty dollars. Sure. <laughs> simple numbers for simple people. There you go. Uh, I was a favor. Please say aye. <laughs> aye. Aye, aye, aye. Aye, aye, aye. All right. So here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Roads people. Thank you for your help. Really appreciate it. Yep. Thank you for your Okay. Need to treat you with you. Man, we're a little ahead of schedule. Is that okay, Scott? It's, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Review of letter from East Mount Player Fire Department, Fire Station 1, Templeton Station. I don't know if anyone from the fire station is going to show up. Um, oh, maybe we should put it off. Okay. Should we put it off? Guthrie could give you maybe some perspective uh, on it, so he's not sitting around waiting, but um, would be one way to go. Oh, I didn't read the letter, so. 
I'm going to look for it. It's in here. Mm. It looks like this. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I'll keep looking. I didn't see it until 4 30 this afternoon. So I'll show you how much I know. Is there somebody coming to talk about the letter? Yes. Oh, there is. So we better stay on that schedule and just put it off until each one. What Gina was suggesting is that Guthrie could give us his view while he's here. Okay. Oh, okay. I think that's what we're going to do. We'll fill it in as much as we can. I mean, we we can whip right through this stuff. Okay. I'm not sure we have that much more to do. You can go into your executive session that's at the end of the meeting. And go out well, how about the town the meeting time. review? Don't we have oh, yeah. to do the minutes? Mm -hmm. Let's yeah. do that. It'll take a couple hours. Mm -hmm. um, it will if you have anything to do with it. Hopefully you'll oh, keep yeah. your mouth shut. I, pro I prolong <laughs> things. Uh, okay. Rosie? Rosie. We have to go over the minutes for the town meeting. Is it? Town meeting review. Review minutes from town meeting. That's what I'm reading. So... Somewhere we have minutes. I have to look. There's two sets. There's a long and a short. Oh, got it. I saw it. Yeah. Oh, two versions. Gotcha. Yeah, I see it right here. Um, okay. Um, annual meeting. So basically, so basically the difference between the two and the two is the, the, longer, the longer version has more you detail. You need to mute yourself on one of your devices, Rosie, because we're getting feedback or an echo. Can you hear me from here? Just I can hear that one. Perfect. Okay, I can get rid of the phone. Okay, so I'm looking at a version. This may be the long one. And why did you give us two different versions? Um, I wasn't sure. There's been a lot of discussion during during select board meetings about how much detail to use for minutes. So I decided to give you an option. Um, the wow. main difference between the long version and the short is the amount of detail regarding specific speaking. Um, Whereas, bear with me a second, I'm trying to move, move devices around here. The folks who spoke during town meeting are listed in the short version. The longer version lists them as well as what they were discussing. And in the town book, we've had them done either way. So I'm sorry if by giving you extra, I get, I'm creating confusion. I just wasn't sure what folks were wanting this year. I mean, I, I like the longer version in principle. It gives townspeople more, more to understand why we did what we did. Uh, on the other hand, town, uh, longer versions need more editing. Right. And I haven't gone through and, and done systematic editing in here, but I've seen some things that would need to be changed Ooh, the I... in, the, in the long version. I apologize. I, I'm away on vacation. I may have sent a previous version. I apologize. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. It, it's, it's, it's hard to hear what's, what people are saying all the time, too. I'm sorry. I the version, I'm just fine. Maybe it's the long. I have the long one. You got the long. I one. got the long one. Well, here's the short one. Oh, that's the short one. Okay. You have both. You yeah. have both there. Oh, maybe I do have both of them here. So this is both versions that you just gave me. No, I just gave you the short one. Okay. Seth, you also have the originals. You have legal size paper, and you're over near the warrant. You're yeah. To be signed stack, the legal page pages that you have. You have the long version of the. Short oh, one. okay. Yeah. Because those, those. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Those legal size pages have signature lines for all of you. Okay. To sign, all right. Depending on the version, you have to read All right. I. I agree. I agree with Carl. Um, 
would it make sense if we postponed the um, adoption or voting on this until maybe Rosie comes back and the rest of us can go through this? But I mean, town meeting is so important that I think, and I really appreciate you giving us both versions, Rosie, mm -hmm. um, that the, the short version is, it, it doesn't reflect the sentiments of the of, of the meeting and of, of what the townspeople had to say. Right. Uh, I'm much more comfortable adopting the long one. Maybe at a at a future date we can we can sit down and mark and mark it up or whatever. No, um, I'll I'll go through it and and yeah, I'll, and we all and we all can. There's no rush. I mean, well, I'll pull up my my other yeah. version. I'm, I apologize. Here, no, don't 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 apologize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just. Part of the drafting process. Yeah, uh, I'm. Uh, I would not be in favor of adopting the short version or the long version today. But. Um, so oh, fair enough. I, Let's, I agree. Well, well, yeah. I mean, when Rosie gets back, and we can make sure that this is a clean copy. I haven't read it super close. I, I haven't either. Right. Okay. Right. So we'll take some I mean, time. I'm looking at the two. Right and, here. and then at a future meeting, and then not to distant doesn't have to be next meeting, maybe. You know, after Rosie's back, we'll okay. Sure, sure. We'll table this. Sure, Mr. Chairman, if you're comfortable with that. Oh, I'm fine. I don't know why I'm such a. You good with that? Okay. Fine with me. Okay. Okay. Zoe, okay. so you good with that? Yes, definitely. I agree. Wants to shelve it. I'm, okay. I'm agreeing, okay. agreeing with the uh, the vice chair of Meredith. <laughs> Thank, thanks for beaming in, Rosie. Yes. Yeah, thank you, Rosie. On vacation. Yeah. And well, for giving us the option. I don't recall anyone ever giving us an option. No, no, that's actually before. pretty cool. Yeah, that's great. A lot more reading. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's good to take with you to the bathroom. It's, it's concentration. Okay. Thank you, Scott. No problem. Uh -huh. Just trying to help you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Appointments, potential executive sessions. We haven't usually done that exactly. No, that, but that option's always there. Yeah. Yeah. Never. Um, Let's see. So why don't we go over that? We can do that. Sure. Yeah. What do we have? Let's look at. Let me look at what we so got a here. Couple things to point out. Um, e nine one one coordinator. Uh, we'll move from me to Michaela Ender, the zoning administrator. And Heather started today, so I have assistant town clerk and assistant town treasurer on here. So Heather had her first day in the office. Yeah. So she has been training and spent some quality time with Patricia today. And then other than that, it's, I think most everybody, an acting zoning administrator, Ben McCall, um, who is interested in that position. Oh, good. Um, other than that, I think it's kind of everybody's... The same one question, though, is John Jewett had indicated that he would stay on as the Central Vermont Solid, solid Waste District Representative yeah. unless someone else or someone new on the select board was interested in that position. He would happily step aside. So Have you um, talked to him? Hmm. Have you talked to him? I haven't talked to I mean, he sent an email oh, indicating this. Um, so no. I don't know if Tom, you know, just to mention this is new. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so uh, that's the only he he was perfectly fine continuing um, with that appointment. Um, he actually sent an email as well to Central Vermont Solid okay. Waste that he copied me on that he was happy to continue unless, but freely of course would step aside if his comment to me was if whoever got on the select board was interested. He's like, please, you know, I. Okay. <laughs> I think he enjoys that. He does a good job. Uh, yeah, it, he seems to enjoy that appointment. So if we're good with that, Seth, you also have the original of the form I received in the mail. You have okay. a copy of it in your pack, but we'll yeah. fill that out. I'll sign that out. Yeah, because you have to yeah. sign that one. Yeah. So do we need a motion to, we usually do a blanket motion to approve the appointment. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll have a question after you make the motion. Oh, I didn't make the motion. Okay. Would you like a question? Yeah. Now? Yeah. Sure, what the heck? Do all of these people that um, for the end that are no term, the village committee, the charter committee, preparedness committee, that they're, they're no terms. What are they still interested? 
I reach out to everybody. Okay, so Gene Visserine is still interested in the village community. Oh, I didn't reach out to, I didn't reach out to all of those systems. Okay, I just. But the charter committee, I just came across some correspondence from, I think, last year at this time. Yeah. You were reaching out? Yeah. yeah. So I do have one question regarding the emergency management coordinator, Toby Talbot. Mm -hmm. He no longer has an affiliation with the fire department. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that's significant. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm fine with him continuing. Uh, I know, Seth, do you? I, I got that Toby was interested from the minutes from the emergency preparedness committee. So. Yeah, you sound like he was right on board to me. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was doing a heck of a job at the emergency meeting I went to, presenting the things I need, the steps you need to go through to inform people, you know, the process. Everyone was pretty impressed with his presentation. And uh, he's doing it for Callis a lot. Seems like they've, they've got a really good plan in place. They've got some guy up there that's really active as the emergency director. And, um, all, it all sounded good to me. So Toby didn't say anything about stepping down. So, and on on the animal control officer front, uh, you know, when I talked to Amber about becoming the primary animal control officer, as I stepped down, then she was glad to do that. Uh, she did say that she would like to have a town constable or select board member to come with her occasionally to some possibly dicey situations. And I said that I'd be happy to do that. And John. I talked to him, he's happy to do that, but he expressed interest in being a second animal control officer. And uh, I haven't circled back to Amber yet about that, uh, but uh, I, I will, because I, I think it, it's been really helpful for me as animal control officer to have somebody else to bounce ideas off of, or when one person's out of town, the other person can, if that person's in town, can, can take calls. Also, uh, Erica Holm, who I guess she'll, she'll still be at the, uh, Humane Society, but she's stepping down in her animal control officer positions, I think, but she, she's been really helpful for bouncing ideas off of it. But she's still going to be over here. I think she'll still be yeah. here, so never mind. I, I withdraw the comments about Erica Paul. I'm sure she'll still be very helpful. But anyway, yeah, um, I, I think we, we could come back and, uh, and appoint John to that position once we've got things confirmed in the future. Sounds good. So, one, one last thing. So, We'll appoint people and they will get notification that they're still on this committee. And if I, the point is, if we ever want to change the time. Well, we're going to be on the appointed list for this go round, so not necessarily the no term right. ones that you're talking about. Yeah. Um, I've already communicated okay. to ask that they want to be reappointed. If we so. need to resurrect the town charter committee, then we can always appoint other people if these, if it's not a full slate or we need a yeah. Okay. We contact the people and they say, no, I'm no longer available. Right. Yeah, that's not a hard fix. Yeah. Right. Okay. Good. Thank you. The idea is just to have that committee in waiting because a charter is a living document and we may need that we might may find some circumstances that uh, motivate us to amend it. Right. Or the other no term views. Mm -hmm. Okay. So were you going to stay on as a role commissioner to see your own here? Until April 30th. Okay. Yeah. I mean, well, June 24th it ends, but I mean, you could still do it. I would probably be willing to stay as a commissioner after I'm no longer the town administrator. Hmm. Well, I'm just wondering, I'm just going down through the list. Because, so. mm -hmm. and I think that three would be supportive of that as well. Uh -huh. So, cool. Um, because nice. I do understand that side fairly well, you know. Okay, so things look good. Though we're going to take, all right, you're taking we're just John Jewett off, obviously. He's the solid waste. No, what are we doing? He's going to stay off. Oh, he's going to stay on even though he's not here. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, That's good. I blacked out. That was I, I see. Else. That's okay. We were talking about that for 10 minutes. Yes. <laughs> it's, all <coming laughs> <one. laughs> it's, all, it's all coming back. Even got an email, blah, blah. I didn't, hear, I, didn't hear his, I didn't hear his name, yes. Wow. Okay. I heard the conversation about the movie. I mean, Tom wanted to fight him for it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I don't know. And I'm not putting my hand up. Okay. I only like soft waste. I don't like hard waste. So I don't like solid stuff. So. Moving, moving right along. <laughs> 
I move to adopt the slate of proposed appointments as presented. Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 And thank you, Gina, for putting the list together. It's a long list. Yes. It's a long, comprehensive it list. Yes. It's a longer list than I've ever seen. Actually. This is impressive. It is. So many people. Yeah. Can you save this document? <laughs> Going forward? We never had them all together like this. Yeah. I started this one right when I started. It yeah, you pulled them all together. Yeah. 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 Well, I also moved it out of Word into Excel. I don't know. Your next person may not be finding it. Moved a lot of things into Excel. Uh huh. Well, that's good to know. Come on in. Okay. Howdy, howdy. Okay, so we've gotten the appointments done. That's done. So we can circle back to review of letter from East Montpelier Fire Department. And I actually haven't seen the letter, but I did see the, I know the gist of it. I think I've read the select board memo. Um, should we get Guthrie back at the meeting? I just texted Thank you. Okay. So it looks like what you want is to give us notice to get out of our own building, which is no, the the town. Warehouse. we own it. The town does, I believe. We own the land. I think we own a building, but whatever. We can stand corrected on that, figure it out. Yeah, it's not. Because I was one of the ones that actually. The point is that we, we have the engine that needs to get into the station. We've got a new one coming. We've got equipment that needs to get in there. Okay. So we can go down the road and we need to figure out, we need to do something different and vacate the space again. We can talk about that. Um, for now, that's our approach. So what was the document that, did we sign a document? Um, so we the letter that we sent references an MOU yeah. dated March 5th, but the MOU that I have that is the latest version was um, signed on August 28th of 2015 by Bill Amell. Um, who was the EMFP president at the time and signed by Seth as select board chair on September 21st of 2015. And the one um, thing in this document states that the town would be given one year's notice. Yeah, um, I saw that letter. But it does say that we own it. Right. And that memorandum? Yes. Yeah. Did you own the firehouse? Yes. As of that day? It says a front of road station, a building owned yeah. by the town that's, of East Montpelier. That's a memory, I'm saying it's not a document. But it's just a memo. Just a memo. I remember this stuff. So a little bit of history. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. The land that the fire station is on was given to the town for the fire department to build the building. Okay. The fire department actually built the building. Uh-huh. Period. Uh-huh with a lot of volunteer labor. Okay. Uh, um, so uh, there wasn't ever an issue until recently. Oh, it's always been in the fire department's building. Has there ever been any talk about the town taking it over? Any of that stuff. So if you look at this memo of understanding, um, the town was actually supposed to share the expenses. I don't believe they've done that. So, I don't know. I'm not an attorney. Well, that's, I hadn't seen this document until 435 this afternoon. That's my So opinion. the annual utility cost was supposed to be 50% because we're using half the building. Have we been doing that? Well, since we paid off, we, I think that was kind of redundant since we give a lot of money to the fire department period. I think that's what happened. Mm -hmm. There's like, well, there's a fire department. There's a fire department setting the town bill for 50% of the utility cost? Has the fire department set the town and bill for 50% of the utility cost? No, and I don't think when this memorandum first came out in 2014, I'm not sure how 2015 when it came about, it's obviously written differently. And a copy of that is not one we have at the station. It's a previous administration, and we don't really know where they sure. kept all the documents that they were on back then. Mm -hmm. But it sounds like it, it sounds like the MOU you're contesting because it does say the building owned by the town of East Montpelier. Well, we're not contesting who's owning it. We're okay. just saying you've got half of it with mm -hmm. trucks in there. And I was understanding that town yeah. stuff would be in there. And at such time, until yeah. we, we see to become a fire department, we have use of the building. Okay. It's always yeah. been the understanding now. Yeah. You know, for 10 years, we haven't needed to use that half. We graciously let that go. Um, I think it was good in its time. And you know, for you to be there, we would still be good with that. 
So now you're kicking us out of our building. Kicking you out of the fire. Okay. We're not going to argue about whose building it is. The point is that it's a station that's used by the fire service. We're not going to park four fire engines out there in sticks in the woods because somebody else owns a building. These are $400,000 trucks. So that have them parked outside so we can put plows inside. And that's not the argument. The argument point is we need, we need space right now. Will we need it in a year or in six months? Maybe not. Guthrie's on the one here. What do you think, Guthrie? I think uh, I won't have a place to park one truck. So we will automatically have a minimum of one truck parked outside year round at that point. That's if we don't build a garage. And it may not, may not go into it. So if we don't build the garage, we're going to be, we need the space. The other. The only other thing that's in there that's going to be tricky is the hydro seeder can't come out immediately just because of the freezing weather. Um, that's a cast iron pump and much like fire truck, it can't freeze. That's why we keep that down there. Um, yeah. So we would have to tuck that away somewhere up, up, up top. And it'd be great if we could just figure that out this fall, which only means getting us through until like June. The garage is not going to be ready for you. Rosie has her hand raised. Yeah, Rosie. I just wanted to mention that I believe there's some cemetery equipment, the lawnmowers that we used to use also in that building, and we would need to find another space to store that. Well, I don't think we're talking about the back part. No, you know, suck way in the back. We just need the room for the engine. So if there's stuff on the far back, you know, that's an issue. So are you saying that it's okay to keep the cemetery equipment that's there? Where it is, yeah, okay. it's back. That shouldn't be an issue. Great, thank you. Thank you. Once we have a little bitty engine, we can park that. I don't think they come that small. There's a possibility that I will see there's still going to be park in the rear of the station. In the rear of the station, it's still fair. Trucks as well. Yeah, because the wall's not there. Yeah. Would that mean that the trucks would need to be moved to get the hydro seater in and out? Mm -hmm. Well, once it's summer, the hydro seeder can stay outside. Yeah. It's just he doesn't want the cast iron thing to break. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's got water. Yeah. yeah. It takes, it, if you were to use RV antifreeze or something like that to try to keep it antifreeze so you could keep it outside, it would be a lot because you have to fill the hopper enough to flood the pump. And then you have to, it just turns into a lot. There's a hose on it that shouldn't freeze. Well, yeah, but if you keep it in there in the winter, it gets in the back, they can still park the fire you truck. You can't get in the back. You can't only put it just, just inside the door to the side. We can't oh, okay. drive in there with our loader. It's too short. Oh, right. yeah. Yeah. Well. There might be ways to be able to set up a caster or something where you set it on like a dolly and then push it into the back if need be to keep it indoors. Just thinking. And hopefully we don't have much longer freezing <laughs> Well, I mean, you're talking a year yeah. hence. You had to give us a year's notice. Yeah, according to an agreement that we haven't seen. So Well, we've got it here, we can print it off, right? So if we got a copy of that for we... yeah. Yeah. So you're saying you don't want to give us a year's notice? I'm just trying to be clear on what you well, want. Well, yeah, had we known that, and the previous administration had kept the document in the firehouse, so we could have seen it. We really have a more That's pressing, it. urgent need to house a truck undercover, and we're not sure for how long. And that's why we wanted to take advantage of the opportunity to, to be able to get a truck in the doors on the car. Sure, you're planning and that's not, what, what you know. And that's not something that is forever. At least we don't want it to be forever. So. Hmm. If, I know nothing about any of this, but <laughs> why, why, is the, why is the issue of the situation arising now? Because we have a What's brand new fire truck on its way. It's been okay. a conversation quite some time. Yeah, oh, that, okay. that, that I'm aware of. We have a long 
Sorry, Chuck, I'm looking to. Okay. Now I, I, I've been aware of it. Okay. I'm just. Well, okay, so you need a part now. Well, okay. we're probably a couple weeks. A few weeks. Oh. So if you sold it in an hour, there would be an issue. But right. Yeah. Well, sold it sell it tomorrow. It might not be an issue. Okay. okay. Does, you know wants does Montpelier have an extra bay? Are they no. still down a fire truck? They're down a fire truck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what to do. I mean, our MOU is supposed to give us a year's notice, and, and we're going to jeopardize our own equipment. I mean, this, this fire truck that you're going to sell, what, once a new one gets here, are you going to be having, having the old one in service at all? Yeah, um, yeah the other engine can function still as a tanker at this point, so mm -hmm. it's still never use for it. Mm -hmm. The plan is to sell, so the plan is to hold on. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm, I'm wondering why it needs to be income at all. I mean, because, because it's still a fire engine's launch, it's not so as it used to, mm -hmm. and we're not going to take it off to another town. Yeah. It was up. It's just, it just doesn't make any sense to us. Mm -hmm. well, what's really uh, uh, the logistical issue? We used to store all kinds of fire trucks and engines, so why would we stop doing that? Well, it sounds a little sticky to me. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we have, have this agreement. Uh, yeah, it's we're, the one we're, year. We're, we're planning around this agreement. Yeah. <laughs> what, do, what do you think, Guthrie? What can we do? That's a tough one. That is a really tough spot. I know where you're coming from. We want to keep stuff indoors, especially, you know, something that you see that you're going to want to have value in it in the next potential just month, right? Something like that. Is that how long are they thinking they're going to have this? Part? It's extra. We don't want to give it away. Let's put it that way. It still has some significant value. And the fire department's want to truck. So are you going to auction it off? Is there? Is that not public knowledge? I don't know. That's not understood. I don't understand how much value it has when the East Montpelier Fire Department can't use it anymore because it's so old. So why would somebody else want it? It can be still a tank or people buy their departments that can barely afford to buy a pickup truck. Okay. So kind of departments, smaller towns, somewhere they're going to bad people gone from out of state. Maybe you end up, that's where trucks have gone before. And sometimes they've gone to other uses. Right. If not for a right. right. They right. might strip that bed off and right, right. make it a farm truck. Yeah, yeah. Out. I got it. Museum. But you can't park it outside. <laughs> you're saying you don't want to park it outside. Right. I mean, yeah. your your issues of winterizing the hydro cedar are just as yeah. big a problem for us in the fire truck. Got it. It's got a pump in it. It's got water in it. So it's good freeze. Quite sure. This is me. You, you, it takes the whole door to get that hydro cedar in there. No, it's. I can't put it to the rear without making something for it and blah, blah, blah. It just has to be off on the side right there. I, we can't get the loader in there even. Well, you can't. And that still leaves me with a truck that's in full service outdoors. Same as you guys. It's a skiddy. It's not a skiddy. You can only drive his loader in so far as the one we set it in. Okay, so when does the new truck come up? They, so we, we don't have a plan of solution. Okay, okay, give us get the date and then we'll just try to work something out. Yeah, three to four, three to four weeks. From okay, now. so when it's on its way, get a hold of me, get a hold of Guthrie, we'll try to figure that out. You know what I mean? What can we do? I mean, we're at doing that a lot point, of, the international. We're willing to help you out, even though it's outside our agreement, and Guthrie's willing and will help you out, but we've got to protect our own equipment. So we're going to just see, okay? Because this truck's not here. When that truck is here, we're going to find things. That's all I, the, all I can say. I will... Uh, uh, I you got Guthrie? I was going to say, I'll uh, talk to our friends in Calus also and see what I can come up with for... Not for housing anything, but if if I had a situation where I needed them to cover some territory for us or something along that line. Um, I'll see what else I can figure out. Got to and I can go up to the fire station and see what we can do about massages and stuff. You know, yeah. If we can get the thing further in, use a piece of my fire equipment to get it in there, yeah. something smaller. You know what I mean? The load is too big because it won't fit in there. Yeah, it makes sense. You know, uh, you well, we get the roof off. Could, uh, <laughs> you could, if one, you could get, it's, just to be clear, the fire truck, let's start with the simples. The dimension of the fire truck, like how much room you actually need, it's not going to be going in and out once the new one shows, right? It's just going to be going out if someone needs to look at it, right? It doesn't have to have an air hook to it and all that stuff. 
It doesn't have to be on a trickle charge. But it's going to be used in service as a tanker. It's going to be available to be used until we get rid of it. We can still use it. We have the fire tonight and we need an extra tanker. That truck could roll as a tanker. We're not going to just let it sit idle. That is me. Much water than heat. But it could sit in idle for five minutes when I built there, is what I'm saying. I like 1250. Well, let's, let's hear Guthrie's question, please. It, it doesn't need to be ready to roll out the door is what I'm saying. Not like your other trucks are. It's going to be a spare to you guys, correct? So it doesn't have to have an air hose hooked to it, charger hooked to it, all of that. Uh, if it fits over on that side closest to you guys, we can probably fit both of them in there, both trucks. The, inner, the salt truck that's in there now and the fire truck. And I'll pull out all the sidewalk tractor stuff and the V plow for the pickup and all of that can come out. The I just assume leave the hydro seeder in there and leave the hydro seed mulch in there because if that gets wet, it's more or less ruined. It's a nightmare to deal with. So like I say, if Albert, you can call me at the shop or something tomorrow and with some dimensions on how what the actual size is because I can probably even switch sides if I had to and switch closer to you guys' side and then that would give you more depth. Because I imagine your fire truck's longer than my six wheeler. Yeah, the problem though is I think with the overhead door, you guys had to take and modify the door to get the height. Yep, so I that, did that actually. That would be an issue with, I think, using our side because we don't have the height. That you no, know. we needed the height. He started about moving it over. No, on, oh. yeah. Uh, it would all be on the yeah. same side of the station. Oh, yeah. Just play musical trucks with those two. So it'll be it'll be tight, but in theory, your truck wouldn't be going in and out very often. And that truck that I have down there, hopefully in the next month, won't even be in there for the rest of the summer. So. Right. So it might be a really close window. Probably close window. Are you intention? Yeah, you're gonna have it gone before snow flies again, right? October 31st, Halloween. That's that's the plan. Okay, so we're gonna try to get this, you know, basically you're operating outside your MOU, but we're gonna be as considered as we can. I made a copy of the announcement. We've got a copy of the okay. station for future. And yeah. Who knows how many other documents we'll find it? Not where they're supposed to be. So, well, whatever. Yeah, I'm not sure why this is redone a year later either. It was just the most recent one I found. Like yeah, the folder the, the, the network the, 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 that I well, it took a while to get the door modified because I did the door and worked with somebody to get the door high enough so we could get the grader in. So that was a delay in the whole thing, the whole yeah. process. Could be. Mm -hmm. Could be All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, folks. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Glad we could work it out. Uh, okay, so this is this is an MOU. It's not usually a legal document. MOU's understanding doesn't really hold up in court. This is documentation of the handshake agreement. Right, but you take an MOU to court, they're going to say, "Where's the legal document?" And MOU is never we can work together to work it out. Exactly, that's what an MOU is. It's not it's not enforceable in court. An MOU is not a legal document. Well, I'm just yeah. trying to work out yeah. the situation. I, I understand. I do know that Scott Hess is not a lawyer. I'm not, but I... We are not operating on his legal advice. Absolutely. Absolutely. But, right? So, Guthrie, you're basically going to have to deal with that. <coughs> if you need any help from me, I'm willing to help. If you need a piece of machinery to move something or whatever, you know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Thank you guys for being flexible and creative, uh, even though we have an MOU that says we we are entitled to a year. Yeah. Maybe I should have, I mean, I'm like Scott, I also don't know anything about this, but would it make sense to um, try to help them expedite um, a fast but good sale of this Engine, regardless what happens, so that yeah, let's him deal with it. Can they okay. send it for sale advertised on multiple networks? We also have a dealer who's trying to move it for us, so it'll get moved. Sitting here, it'll, it'll get moved. Nobody wants to have it hanging around, they'd like to have the money back in the capital reserve, I'm sure. 
Um, so consideration of Adamant Ash Tree, we already did that, or is that That's that? That's that? That's for you all to authorize me to sign the grant. Okay. Let's have this a, is the grant application for for uh, Adam. For so, that for the seven thousand dollar grant. Yeah. Second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 I'm not going to let you discuss it any further. <laughs> <laughs> who motioned and who seconded? It was too fast. Tom moved. I seconded. Thank you. Did you want to do the? Um, we can. I can start going with grabbing the warrants. Do you want to do the town administrative report? It, it, uh, look, look, look. What? Is there anything that, that Guthrie needs? Because he's still on. Is he here for a reason? Or I don't know. <laughs> Guthrie, Guthrie, are you just here for cuffs? Yeah. We don't want to waste your time. Are you just here for people to see if you like us? I just pulled up the agenda to make sure there was nothing else. I, I did okay. you know, earlier today for spacing all of the things I was going to be involved in an hour apart from each other. That was okay. greatly well, appreciated. I was sorry. Did you get the landscaping straightened out for the um, parking spot down by? Yeah. yeah. Blah, blah. Yeah. Town Hill Road. Yeah. Oh, good. Good. I think we've accomplished that. It's hopefully going to be executed in April. The landscaping? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, one good. At least the parking lot will be. Be free of All right. Have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for tuning in. You can watch your Yes. Happy vacation, Rosie. Is there anything you if this is your entertainment, it's cool. But we want to, is there anything you need from us or don't don't leave? No, I'm I'm back on Thursday. Okay. Okay. And you'll be excited to hear that it's going to be about four degrees warmer here than it is at home tomorrow when I get on the plane to come back. Mississippi. Oh, that's yeah. right. I spoke about that. Yeah, Wonderful. they've got big frost warning. Okay. Show them how to handle it. <laughs> All right. Safe, safe travels. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, what about the town administrator report? Um, one item is a question for you. We kind of went back and forth on chase and chase and doing a survey and a potential a potential boundary line adjustment for yep. the town garage project. Yep. Do you want me to reach out to chase and chase and start anything with the survey? Do you want to wait on that? Because we weren't sure where the boundary line adjustment may and it may not need to happen now, yeah. actually. So it may be kind of a, if we're building in the same location, I don't know that we need to do anything to the site. Wasn't there something said about the, the only thing I heard line the driveway? Is what? Yeah, the driveway. The driveway needs, needs to be moved, from what Guthrie told me, yeah. if we build it on the same site when I was talking to him the other day. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't matter. For the it's survey. still within our boundary, so right it should, yeah, that shouldn't be an issue. But isn't the old thing? I need to double check. Isn't the whole it. old site not quite in the where the line is? Not really. No, it's we have exceeded. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, I think we're so going to need to do a survey. Want me but... to reach out to Chase and Chase and get on their schedule. Yeah. To, I mean, you're going to have to. We're going to have to start with a survey period. Yeah. To, to resurvey the the area and then. Oh, there's no the survey of the whole area. Right now, because there could be a survey of the whole area, and we just have to move that line. I don't. I have to ask. Well, just get on a schedule. Yeah. Because I think that the old footprint is not quite within. If you look at a, I mean, if you look at satellite, and that's just. Yeah, it needs to be. The line needs to be moved anyway. Yeah. So, let's just get that straight now. Yeah. Yeah, but. Yeah. I mean, we we want. We want to know what we're going to do in terms of a new project before we finalize the boundary adjustment. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but those, those that's coming along. Mm -hmm. So if we get them engaged uh -huh. in that's coming along, maybe we can meet. Before you can do that, you have to have an original survey. Uh -huh. Well, okay. we may have the original survey, but we have to figure out if the old building and the whole site is within the, mm -hmm. the boundary that we've established. Right. So. It sounds like we could do it all together without delaying okay. the project. At least get Chase and Chase engaged, and who knows? They could be two months away. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think, it's, I think they probably are. Get on the yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
So. And then um, FEMA update. I'm going to give you all a really good idea of where we are with FEMA at your next meeting. Okay. Um, I have submitted basically every complete project that we have. Um, two outstanding projects that the road crew is working on. I'm working on documenting now, and we'll kind of document. Here's what we've done, and here's what's left to do. Um, those two would be one is called Roads Two. Um, I know I need to go over the list with Guthrie in more detail, but for example, I know Fitch needs another layer of material, and it is in that Roads Two um, project. And then Horn of the Moon. Um, there's two more culverts that need to be. Um, replaced or two culverts that still need to be replaced um, so that's another project and then Sparrow Farm uh, is the third project so the road crew kind of has three projects and by projects I'm speaking in terms of FEMA projects they're defined projects three projects that the road crew still has to do this does not include Sanders Circle and Sodom I usually don't include those in my initial count because those are not being done, will not be done by the first um, So I will give you guys an update on where we are. At some point, I'll kind of get these as far as I can and then draw a line in the sand of this is where they are. Okay. Um, so to update you on Sanders Circle, the H and H study is complete, and I have provided you all a copy of that H and H study um, from the Wolf. What I know right now is that they are recommend, recommending a culvert with a 14 foot span. Um, we're not yet sure exactly what that structure would be. Uh, I have already sent the H and H study to FEMA. I haven't gotten any feedback, but I meet with our FEMA representative um, on Wednesday. I don't believe FEMA ever comes back with. I don't think they challenge anything related to H and H studies. The H and H studies don't discuss what you need. So I've directed the wolf to go ahead and start looking at pricing and getting pricing for various structures for that. So we can start getting an idea of what we need to do so that they can finalize their design. Because once we get final designs for both Sanders Circle and Sodom Pond, both of those will have to go through a full RFP process. Yeah. Um, or to meet FEMA requirements for reimbursement. Chloe, um, so it's in process. Um, another important thing, um, our, the, our FEMA PDMG, our uh, public assistance program delivery manager um, has resigned from his position his last day of April 12th. So Paul is his name. Paul and I are in a mad dash anyway with me leaving April 30th um, to try to get these as far as we can, which is why he's got rapid fire two projects in the last couple weeks um, sent his way. So um, I'm trying to button up as much as I possibly can, but there's still going to be I, is there quite a bit outstanding two significant projects. I was just curious whether it was going to be a <laughs> sad meeting or not, just because there's a limitation. So, 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 so does someone explain what a 14 foot span means? Okay. Yeah, it sounds like a big culvert. It's a 14 foot. Is that diameter? No. no. It's it's a, if it's a box culvert? No, like, no, that would be the diameter. Oh, no, no, no. You're right. Span, span. Span. No, he's, yeah. Span is the length of the culvert. Yeah. So it goes across the road or underneath the road for 14 feet. Okay, so that doesn't say anything about no, 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 how much water it would carry. No, so I'm not so sure that's right. That's not true because the road's got to be at least 20 feet wide, that yeah. portion. And so it's got to be the arch of the culvert. It's got to be 14 yeah. The hydraulics report would logically give a recommendation about how wide the culvert yes. is. I saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not the, it's not the width of the road. That road's more than 14 <laughs> feet wide. Okay. Any of these roads are over 20 feet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they're saying a concrete replacement recommendation. They have either a concrete box, yeah. box culvert, yeah. Yeah. which has a span of 14 feet and a height by 5.5 5 feet. Yeah, yeah. so it's 14, it's 14 feet. I think it's 14 feet on the arch part of it, and it's just five feet. Well, then, you, then, you, then you've got the walls, so it actually would be more than that on a concrete. It's big. It's big. <laughs> it's big. Yeah. That, yeah. yeah. It's close enough. Okay. Yeah. It's big. That's big not the ones we're yeah. here Thank you. <laughs> the, the internet says that the span represents oh, yeah. the maximum inside the width. Uh, the maximum width? Right. They're on the same yeah. page. Inside or, width. Yeah, I have a piece of paper. Yeah. Inside yeah. width. Okay. Are we Thank you. Are we going to argue the whole time? Or what? 
Okay, so are we ready to go into the review of the resumes? I will make a motion to amend Okay, so. Okay. We need a motion to go into executive session. Yeah. You don't have to make a motion. Pardon? I will second Okay, the motion, Zoe, is on page, bottom of page four of the select board memo. Uh, under uh, one BSA article 13A3, I'll, I'll second the motion. Fine, but then there shouldn't be a bullet underneath it. You second the motion? Yeah. Line. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. I, I, aye. Would, I wouldn't accept that. <laughs> Recording in progress. Otherwise, it looks great. Well, I have to sign this one, right? For all, any more comment on the minutes? What all time did we? Say aye. 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 The eyes appear to have the duration. 858 and a half. 859. We are merged from executive session. No action nope. takers. Nope. Okay. Was exactly. that my job to say? Oh, okay. It's not. I didn't know about that. Now, Zoe Andy wanted. What's that? Zoe is on. Zoe okay. on. Can you hear us, Zoe? Is the motion in order to adjourn? Yeah. And we can hear I you. I believe so. Super. I move to adjourn. Anybody yeah, else? I move to adjourn. Zoom in. What was the other business on that? I said it was Gina. Gina, we all done. Did we do it? Oh, oh wait. There there was yeah. Oh, the rec board. So town. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, the, they want to do the. They want to do the soccer. Contract. Yeah. I'll make a motion to um, to allow them to have their summer camp or whatever that was. Yeah. The soccer. The soccer <laughs> camp. Is there the any girls' soccer yeah. camp? So is there any competing use for the field at that time? Uh, you want to do July. July. Come on up. Yeah, it's it's so the right they, 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 they don't know what they're doing. They, they, yeah, it's like almost four hundred people. Yeah, I second the motion. Okay, Tom. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Chairs right there. I think that's the last thing. The agenda item. You good? Okay, Zoe. Go ahead and go for it. I move to adjourn the meeting. Yep. To the contract. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. I'm Mark. Thank you. It's nine o'clock. Do the work and it's just Dave Armstrong. Okay. I guess we got one for us.